up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Hey, hey! Ho, oh, ho! These killer cops have got to go! Hey, hey! Ho, oh, ho! These killer cops have got to go! Hey, hey! Ho, oh, ho! These killer cops have got to go! Hey, hey! Ho, oh, ho! These killer cops have got to go! Hey, hey! Ho, oh, oh, ho! Oh, 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 oh. These killer cops have got to go! Hey, hey! showing their support um, for Ferguson, showing its support to all um, victims of corrupt police uh, racism and uh, the institution. And so it's a solidarity reality. It's uh, hopefully something to start a change, um, new systems, new ways to fight back. Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Jim Crow! Hell no! Jim Crow, we say hell no! Arrest, convict, send that killer cop to jail! The whole damn system is guilty as hell! Don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! No justice, no peace, no racist ass police! So, my reaction to Ferguson is just that. The system was designed this way. It was designed not to get justice. When you have a system that, with where the prosecutor works closely with the cops on a daily basis, and then you expect that prosecutor to go against them, how can we expect any distant, um, difference? How can we expect any justice? So I am out here to support my crown, all to say that Black Lives Matter, to say that the system needs to be changed, it needs to be destroyed, and something else needs to be built in place because it doesn't value our lives. So yesterday, the decision was released that Darren Wilson is not indicted for murdering Mike Brown. This shows that it is legal to murder unarmed black people in this country, which happens all the time. One of the things we wanted to do, because Mike Brown's mom wants all protests to begin with the four and a half minutes of silence, to represent the four and a half hours that Mike Brown's body laid in the street in his family and friends' front and backyards in Ferguson. While we do the moment of silence, we're actually going to have some people in the streets doing a diet to, to represent his body out in the street. So we're going to have certain people protect them around there, and we're just going to do this for four and a half minutes. possible to lose and still come out the winner just eat the haters hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. some students are going to march through Wallace Hall which is one of our administrative buildings and they're also going to chant and we want to chant this is what democracy looks like 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 I'm not surprised at all with the uh, lack of indictment of Darren Wilson. Um, it's already come to light that a number of the cops in the area have ties to the Ku Klux Klan, um, which is pretty much, um, you know, the state of things. Whether whether a cops belong to the Klan or not, they support white supremacy in the United States. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as the reactionary backlash in the media about the character of Mike Brown, mm -hmm. doesn't fucking matter at all. The police in the United States have a long track history of shoot black people first, ask questions later, 
Um, and it's no different than the lynchings of times past. And it needs to stop um, by any means necessary. Today, it's important uh, uh, for a community response when something like this happens, and hopefully to continue, you know, organizing beyond. I'm here just as um, you know, a community supporter. Um, the organization Black, I, be I believe, is responsible for uh, getting most of this together. Um, and you know, I, I can't assume allyship with individual uh, people of color, but. Um, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here in solidarity uh, and to help in any way I can. It's important that we do this over and over. Some of us went down to Ferguson. The people of Ferguson have been protesting for over 100 days straight. These people have been going out into the streets, have been standing in front of the police department, in front of the Justice Center, at the site of Mike Brown's death, at the site of Anya Byers' death, at the Quick Trips. These people have done this over and over again, and it takes that. It takes reminding people constantly that this is injustice that this can't happen, that unarmed black people can't be killed, and it can be okay. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. response. 